All right, last part, we went thin through this door, which takes us here to this puzzle room. I recommend throwing these barrels out of the way. Kick one up here, kick one up here, every other one just like that. And uh, would you look at that, the puzzle is done. <laughs> Pretty simple. And yes, it opens the door in the other room. Yes, usually, oh, you need barrels from these uh, pirate guys right here. Usually you have to, do a puzzle in the room with the door that you want wish to open. Come on, could I get a barrel from you, Mr. Red Guy? I would like a barrel from you, thank you. I want to kill Froggy here, and kill you too. There we go. <laughs> you do not need to kill all the guys in this room, so forget it. And let's move on. Can you throw a barrel? Thank you very much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was attack. <laughs> oh, that worked. I just barely nicked them, okay. We're going through here and through this door. And we got a little jump puzzle right here. Um, what do we want to do here? I believe it goes something like this, this, because the yellow ones um, flash to red and explode much faster than the green one. So, yeah, do, kick the green one first, then the yellow one, and there you go. Now you gotta wait for this one to explode. I'm just gonna kick this one to the side for the fun of it. And here you go, here's two extra lives for you. Isn't that nice? I think that's pretty nice. And we got a uh, run through here before you, before these switches unclick themselves puzzle. This is not very hard, only there's ice and, yeah, oh, whoops, I screwed it up, didn't I? I'm just gonna reset the room just to save some time. Okay, start here, hit this one, or run to here. Yeah, if you don't do it fast enough, the switches reset, and hit this one and this one. There we go. Okay, we got Mr. Throwy Guy here. I'm pretty sure you want to go to the right. Don't touch the spike walls. What is this way? You know what? I, you can't you can't see anything on those darkened rooms, so I'm not going to show you those rooms. Yes, this is the correct way. Okay, that uh, fire. I mean that red guy that I just killed, the red chubby guy. He does indeed shoot fire at you, just like that. Uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> Uh, can I do this? Can I do this? Uh, yes, I can. That'll work. Can I kill a frog? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that, that worked out nicely. Okay. All right, from here on out, we have two paths. If you want to go to the upper path, here is the solution to the puzzle. But I do not recommend taking the upper path because it is full of annoying puzzles that'll take forever. So I'm going to take the right path. This is a easy puzzle despite the statue shooting fire death at you. And oh my god. <laughs> These, this even reminds me of Zelda, um, Link to the Past, where you shoot, um, I should say Link's, yeah, it is Link to the Past, where those, uh, um, statue, not statues, candles or torches, whatever, shoot fireballs at you from a distance, okay? Set up the blocks just like I showed you there, and use the bell, you know what's coming next. It's time for a gang rape. <laughs> And there we go, we're out the door. Yes, you need to kill those, all those guys. Make sure you kill bouncy ball guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bouncy ball guy is dangerous. <laughs> and get another one. Make sure bouncy ball guy does a ball. And there we go. And I'd recommend killing the snakes too. And just like that. Sometimes the pirates kill themselves, so that sometimes works. Whoa, 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 that works. That works in your favor, so yeah, in this room you need to kill all of them, so there you go. And here's another duplicate room. Why there's so many duplicate rooms, I don't know. But whatever. Let's just keep going. Uh-oh. Watch the pattern, watch the pattern. Okay, okay, this is Death Mountain from Zelda. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Come on, it, this is Death Mountain, if I've ever seen it. Eh, eh, uh -ow. Come on, watch the patterns. Don't be stupid, don't be stupid, don't be stupid. I had that the first time. I could have st stood right here. I'm safe, I'm safe, don't panic, okay. <laughs> Alright, what you have to do here is clear the lower path of barrels and enemies, because if you don't realize, you need to kick that block off to the left side and then quickly run through this gauntlet of annoyance over here and then kick it up and then to the left to open that gate. So let's go and do that. And we're going back, we're going back, we're going to the bank through the turnstiles. Okay, there's no turnstiles, but it does have that zigzag fence thing, like when you're at a bank or standing in line somewhere. <laughs> 
Doesn't it? It just has that feel. It's even got those uh, swoopy lines to uh, indicate that there's uh, those fuzzy uh, padded uh, lines that are holding them up, yeah, <laughs> to separate people. And that's how you do that. Oh, we've got another uh, switch pressing room of death. Got to do it quickly and uh, do it carefully as well. Here's here's how fire breathing guys guy is gonna work. I'm sure he's gonna shoot his fire at me. Come on, do a demo for me. Thank you. That's that's what he does. He blocks your path and lets other people kill you. <laughs> and yes, up. Oh shoot. I would really like to have a candle to show you guys how this works. Uh, here's a gun. That's pretty nice. Okay, can you guys, um, um, I, you're not going to see how this part is done, are you? Or, or, or how this area is done, because I don't have a candle. That is too bad. Um, let's see, I'm going to do this, kick that one there, and kick that one there, kick this one to the right, kick this one up, I hope you can see what I'm doing, kick this one to the left, kick this one up into the slot. And let's see what's over here. We have another star block over there. Um, and let's see, we have to go like. Can I kick? No, I can't. That hurts. And go down here and kick that here. And kick that into the slot there. And then let's see. Yes, I can kick it. Kick this one up, straight up for the upper. Uh, right switch, go down here. I really apologize that you guys can't see, can't see what I'm doing, but there I did it. Alright, I really wish I would have had a screen capture program and have done that on a computer. Okay, we've got another annoying room to do right here, right now. Because just take a look at how this is designed. You have to kill these guys with blocks. I cannot believe how they designed this. It is just so unbelievably annoying. Oh my god, can I do this? Can I do this? Yes! Okay! First try, that was awesome. I had much more trouble in the other area. Okay, if you use your hook here, where this hook is, I mean your uh, grappling hook. Oh, come on, hook shot, just like uh, Zelda again. Those copycatting bastards. <laughs> and kick that there, and kick that there, and kick that there, and that'll open that wall up. And then you kick this here, and kick that up there, kick this up here, kick the kick that down there, kick this here, kick that over there, and then kick it up here, and something opened up. The crashing sounds of the waterfall have stopped. And there we go. There's our hook. Let's go through the door, and we are near the boss of the area. You can pretty much guess how this is going to go, just kill the enemies, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to kill these guys just before this part ends, so when I kill them, I will... Uh, start the boss in the next part and uh, open says me Woohoo! explosions all right i'll see you guys in the next part